Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to automatically import a table from a Google Sheet directly into Figma using the Convertify plugin. So the first thing we need to do to get started is just click on the little resources icon in the top of your Figma file and in the search box just type the word Convertify, so that's C-O-N-V-E-R-T-I-F-Y and under the plugins tab you'll see Convertify pop up and all you need to do is either click on this run button or you can save the plugin for using again later by clicking on the more options icon here and clicking on the save plugin uh, menu item. And so you can either click the run button as I said, or if you've saved it to your list, you can right click anywhere on your page, go down to plugins and then click on the convertify option. So that's gonna run the plugin that we just set up a second ago. And instead of using the default option, which is exporting Figma to a sketch file, which you can also do, uh, you can open up that little options list. And instead of exporting from Figma, we're gonna go down to the import to Figma category. And we're gonna click on this bottom option here, which is import Google Sheet table to Figma. So I'm gonna click on that. So that's just selected this import Google Sheet table to Figma option. And now you can see that it's bringing up a new input field here and it's expecting a Google Sheets link. So what we wanna do is basically go to our browser and we wanna find any Google Sheet that we've got a table set up uh, for already. So I've got a really simple uh, movie app table. So I've just got a list of uh, rows and columns and these are just for different movies. So you can see here, this is my header. So I've got my header uh, labels. So this is the poster label and underneath that I've got a bunch of image links. So these are all going to images. So if I click on one of these, you can see that it's loading up an image uh, a poster. And so I've just got four different images under there and then all the rest are just text. So I wanna import this table from Google Sheets directly into Figma. And I can do that by clicking on this little share button up here. So I'm gonna click on share. And once that loads up, I'm just gonna make sure that this general access setting is set to anyone with the link. By default, it's set to restricted, but for now we wanna actually change this to anyone with the link. And then on the right hand side, you can leave this setting as viewer. You don't need to change it to editor or anything like that. Viewer is perfectly fine. So once you've set up those two options in the share modal, just click on the copy link icon underneath or the button. So click on that button. It's gonna copy the link to your clipboard. And then once you've done that, you can just go back into Figma and in our input field here where it's asking for the Google Sheets URL, I'm gonna paste that link that we just copied and I'm just gonna click on the import Google Sheet button. So once that's loading, you'll notice that it's loading up the Google Sheets images. So it's downloading any of those images if you've got images in your spreadsheet. And then after that's finished, you're gonna see a new table created in your Figma file using all of the data or table uh, items from your Google Sheet. So you can see here that we've got our header, we've got our rows, and because this is a component, we can actually change the width of these columns as well. So I can adjust this and it will adjust all of the child instances. So we've got our header up here and these are all children of that header. So any widths that are set in the table header component will be inherited by the instances as well. Um, and that also goes for the styling. So if we wanted to change the styling of this text, for example, uh, we can change that in here and that's gonna update the styling of all of the children as well. And of course you can override those in the instances as well. So you can reset that so we can set it to light and that'll override it at the instance level. Uh, but you can do that if you want to. Uh, the same thing goes for the images. So because we've got this particular column set up for an image based column, uh, you'll notice here that we've actually got uh, our images, but they're just currently as square. But because our ratio of the images are different, what we can do is we can go up to the component level and in the table header cell, I'm just gonna unhide the image. So there's a hidden image square or uh, shape layer there. And that's just the component layer for our posters or for our images. So what we can do if we wanna change the image size for all of our rows is we can just adjust this layer in the component. So I can make that taller and just change the ratio of that. So now we can see it's looking much more like a movie poster. And once you're happy with that, 
you can then just hide that image layer again because it's a component layer and we only want to use the header for the labels. So we don't want to have the uh, image layer in the actual heading, but you can obviously just uh, turn that on and off when you need to adjust it. Uh, so that's what that looks like there. And we can also adjust the width of the table itself. So you can see here, it's quite responsive as far as the uh, widths go. And again, if you want to then re uh, adjust these, you can just go into the header component and you can adjust each column's width as well. So you've got the option of adjusting it at the column level and also adjusting the width at the parent level. So you can change that width yourself. Uh, and it also automatically includes uh, strokes. So because it's got a table row uh, set up, it automatically includes a stroke option turned on by default. So you can change the color of that here. If you want to make those lines darker or lighter, you can do that. Uh, if you want to hide them entirely, just click on the little uh, hide icon. And again, I'm just doing this, this on the table header component. So if you click on the table header component, you'll see the stroke uh, properties on the right hand side. You can just turn those on and off or you can change the styling so you can increase that or decrease it uh, as well. For now, I'm just going to leave it on and visible, uh, invisible, sorry. Uh, so that's basically it. You can use this to import any tables from your Google Sheets. Uh, so it's always going to work much better if you're just using a simple table like this. Uh, if you start getting uh, fancy with other kinds of um, layouts in your template, it's probably not going to work as well. I'd recommend just keeping it uh, very simple. This is a standard spreadsheet table using the first row as your header. So you want to put all, the, all of your labels into there and then just using the other row uh, elements as your content. And if you do need images, as I said, just paste in an image URL or an image link and that will automatically be downloaded and imported into your uh, Figma table as well from the Google Sheet. Um, so I think we'll leave it there for today. I don't want to make it too complicated. It's a pretty simple tutorial. I just wanted to show you how to automatically get any table content from a Google Sheet that you might have set up uh, and automatically import that into a Figma file, um, which can be handy if you're working with large uh, data tables and collaborating in Google Docs or Google Sheets, uh, but you also need that content synced up with Figma as a responsive table. This is going to be the quickest way to go about it. Uh, so we'll leave it there for today. Thank you as always for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.